Hey, welcome back uh, to the second day of your membership here with the Dow of Badass. I'm really excited to get started with you. Uh, the thing I want to talk about today is going to be very, very crucial, and it's going to be uh, something that you access mentally and that you process from now on uh, with almost every interaction you ever have again with people. And that is determining whether or not you're actually extroverted or you're actually introverted. Uh, now this is important because if you're an extroverted personality, then you're going to like to go into environments that are completely different than someone who's an introverted personality. Now it's very likely that if you have ever studied um, any kind of uh, psychology, that you have an idea of what you believe is uh, introvert or an extrovert tendency. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to sort of take off your I already know this hat, take that off, and sort of put it down. And in a bit afterwards, you can put it back on. You can you can be back, uh, become this person who knows what they know again. But for right now, I really want you to be open, and I want you to uh, to listen to what I have to tell you here because this is very advanced stuff. When I first heard it, I thought I knew it as well, and then I kind of got bitch slapped uh, whenever I found out that it really wasn't what I thought it was, and it was something way beyond what I had imagined. So uh, there are lots of different personality typing systems. Uh, one, the one that allows you to figure out whether or not you're an introvert or extrovert comes from a, a derivative of a Jungian model. So uh, uh, Jung was a really famous uh, psychologist. And uh, it, it was sort of branded by two people, um, I believe a mother-daughter uh, duo, and they are Myers, the Myers-Briggs uh, model. So the Myers-Briggs model is basically a model of, of how, to, how to figure out these different Jungian personality types. So one of the major ones was introvert and extrovert. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right now how you can find out whether or not you're an introvert or an extrovert. Uh, personally, I am an extrovert. Uh, because I'm an extrovert, I have no problem talking to a lot of people all the time. I also have uh, no problem continually, continually talking to people, <laughs> even if it's been a very long time and I've been talking forever. I still like to do it. So, um, and introverts typically don't like to do that so much. They kind of like their time alone. And uh, the problem is that if you are an introvert, and you're trying to act like an extrovert, well then uh, you're going to have a really hard time trying to meet people uh, that way. So one of the best ways to, to figure out your natural style of meeting people and natural style of attraction and, and, uh, and approach is going to be figuring out whether or not you are an introvert, a true introvert, or a true extrovert. And now there are types of people, certain people who are both, but for now it's just kind of focus on one or the other. So I want you to do an exercise with me. I want you to take out a piece of paper and or you can open up a Word document if you'd like. Uh, I also would like the results of this uh, this exercise to go into a comment below. So once you're done with the video, please comment below with whether or not you are a um, an introvert or an extrovert. I'd really like to know. Just kind of put your name down and talk about a little bit a little bit about um, what that means to you and kind of how how you uh, approach life because of that. Now there are certain traits that an introvert and an extrovert has. Before I get into those traits, I want to ask you a couple of questions. The first question, I want you to write down this question, I want you to pause this video, think about it, and I want you to uh, answer the question uh, in a written format. Just write down the answer uh, to this question. So I'll tell you the question, and then I want you to write that down, and then I want you to answer the question, pause the video, answer the question, and then come back afterwards with your answer. So here we go. The question that I want to ask you today, and the major exercise for today, is how do you recharge your batteries? Now, what does that mean? That means how do you, whenever you're completely drained, not just physically, but, but emotionally, definitely emotionally drained, and mentally drained, uh, just everything is just completely like you're like, oh, God, I'm so tired of just whatever's been going on, I'm tired. Um, how do you recharge? How do you, what do you do? Um, there are two major ways of recharging. One is um, uh, calling someone up or communicating with somebody directly or wanting to interact with people, going to some place to talk to someone you don't know things like that. And the other is uh, just sort of being alone, fully alone, like not talking to anybody at all, having everybody leave you alone. This is sort of a different technique. So how do you recharge your batteries? Um, so go ahead and write that down. Write down how do I recharge my batteries. And uh, what I'd like for you to do is keep this sort of journal. Um, if you have a journal right now, if you don't, then you should go get one. And as we go through these different pages and these different membership um, the different days of the membership and different videos, I want you to do the exercises in your journal so you can go back later on and see what you did and it's all organized and proper. You can also do that on a Word document or on your computer, but make sure you back it up. Every every 10 days or a month or so, email it to yourself so you have a, a copy of it sort of floating around in the cloud out there. Um, 
So write down that question, how do I recharge my batteries? You can type it up if you want. And then I want you to pause this video and I want you to think, do I recharge my batteries by uh, talking to people and communicating, like communicating back and forth, not talking at them, but, uh, but communicating back and forth and listening to what they say and really connecting? Or uh, do I like to be alone and kind of by myself? And do I like to sort of uh, think on my own there, maybe read a book, um, maybe veg out and watch TV, though I like to veg out and watch TV as well. Uh, which one do I always do and do I prefer to do whenever I'm totally drained? So, uh, so answer that question and then uh, pause this video and then answer the question as soon as you're done. Go ahead and press play. Go. Okay, great. So now that you've done that, you've paused that, you paused the video, good, and you wrote down what you need to write down. Um, my question for you is, what was that? Uh, did you write down, uh, okay, well, I, I like to be by myself and, and I like to recharge that way or I like to call people up and talk to people and communicate with people that way. Um, you may have never thought about this before really and I hadn't either whenever I was asked this question as well. Uh, so uh, whichever one you wrote down, doesn't really matter right now, I, you can't tell me that so I just want to tell you what the different um, reasons, the different, different uh, what that means that you wrote down um, whether or not you are a truly an extrovert or an introvert. Uh, if you're an introvert, we have a totally different style of, of communicating. Uh, so with you as in particular, so uh, you're not going to want to to run out and, and be in bars for long periods of time. In fact, uh, you do be your best communication early on in the day. So that would uh, drastically change whether or not you're approaching women at nighttime or approaching women during the daytime, um, of course. So um, extroverts are going to be more comfortable the longer they talk. So they need to be pushed into to a situation and just forced to go in. And then once they're there, they get momentum and they build it and they get better and better. So, um, so if you wrote down that you like to communicate with people whenever you're totally drained, um, and uh, the answer to how I how do I recharge my batteries is I like to call somebody on the phone, or I like to talk to a good friend, or I like to go to a place where I don't know anybody and just kind of talk to people I don't know. Um, if this is you, then you are truly an extrovert. Um, extroverts also, just to give you an extra quality, extroverts also talk while they're thinking and they never think before they talk. So uh, I'm an extrovert and I don't have any script right now at all. I'm just kind of talking to you about this uh, and coaching you directly. And you know that because I, uh, I'm an extrovert and I can think as I talk. Um, introverts cannot do that. Introverts have to sit back, think about it for a while, and then they come out and they say something. Introverts uh, have less of a uh, foot and mouth syndrome. I have foot and mouth syndrome personally. Um, and sometimes I say things and I'm like, oh, that sucks. You know, I should have said that or that was dumb or why, you know, what does everyone think of me now uh, as well? So that's kind of the, the dark side of being an extrovert, but it's kind of what I have to deal with is, is part of it. Uh, so uh, if you answer that you like to be alone fully, um, and this is usually, now maybe you like to do both, but usually your default is what you're looking for here. Um, if you, your default is kind of be alone or read a book or be by yourself, and go for a walk by yourself, not talk to anybody, uh, then you're probably an introvert. Introverts, like I said, think before they talk, and they also like to be alone often, and if they go out to a bar at nighttime, uh, they're gonna be better in the first few moments of being out, and then they're just gonna get worse over time. So we need to figure out a way for introverts and extroverts, and I've, I figured out the system, so I'll, I'll teach that to you, um, to approach uh, this sort of attraction game a little bit differently. Uh, extroverts, like I said, tend to do better if you put them out in a situation they just kind of go for it. Introverts tend to do better if they are uh, in a situation on purpose and they decide to get in and they make it happen quickly and then they leave afterwards. They don't stay too long because if they stay too long, they start to get mentally drained and they start to say stuff that doesn't make sense anymore, um, which is the exact opposite of what happens to an extrovert. So regardless of whichever one you are, it's no better or worse. Um, I know how to speak to both different personality types. I'll be able to help you if you're an introvert. I'll be able to help you if you're an extrovert. And some of the things I tell you are going to be clearly for one or the other. So try it on. Like I said, you know, you want to try on everything I teach you kind of like a jacket. And if it fits well, keep it. If it doesn't fit well, just take it off and kind of leave it. It's not going to help you if you try to force yourself into a model that doesn't really work for you. So now that you know that you're an extrovert or you're an introvert, um, it's going to make things moving forward a lot better. I want you to go ahead below and, uh, and just sort of post your name or, or make a little comment and say what you are and just say some experiences in your past where you may have seen that same kind of tendency pop up and now you have a way to quantify it and actually call it something. Um, introverts aren't just people who don't like to talk to people very much or get nervous. Um, I was extremely nervous um, talking to people uh, whenever I first started this journey 
and um, I'm a fully like a full-fledged extrovert. So um, it's not that has nothing to do with it. Um, just because you're reserved doesn't mean that you are um, an introvert. And uh, also, introvert is not a bad not a bad word. It's a good thing. So I uh, hope you gain a lot from that, and uh, can't wait to teach you more tomorrow. Go ahead and post below, and I will check out those comments, and I will give you any kind of coaching that I can. Take care.